Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be explaining how I created my Joe Exotic jean jacket. So I started off with an old jean jacket I got from the thrift store, some paint brushes, and some acrylic paint. So for every jean jacket I paint, I always use acrylic paint and then I add in fabric medium. You can find fabric medium at any craft store and you add two parts acrylic paint to one part fabric medium. It's really great for making your acrylic paint stick to your jean jacket and not make the acrylic paint crack. So the first thing I do for any jean jacket is I paint a base coat white. I always do this because it gives me a really solid foundation for anything that I'm going to draw or paint on the jean jacket. It also helps me because it blocks out some of that blue denim color and then I don't have to do two coats of paint. For this jean jacket, I started on the front. I knew I wanted the front two panels to be yellow and orange, so I painted a solid coat of paint on both sides and then I blow dried it to make sure it was nice and dry before I started adding details. I then went in with my fabric marker and I added tiger stripes to one side and I added cheetah print to the yellow side. I did this with a fabric marker and I didn't sketch it in before I started because I was pretty confident in just these simple patterns, but if it's something that you wouldn't be confident drawing or painting on freehanded, then definitely, definitely sketch it in with a pencil first. So this is how the front of the jacket turned out and when I was done with the front and it was dry, I turned it over and I started on the back. I drew in the outline of my image with a pen. Um, pens tend to work better on denim, especially like unpainted denim. Pencils tend not to show up. And then I painted the area white, my base layer. For some reason I didn't get a video of it, but I did paint it white. I waited for it to dry and then I went in with a pencil and added my detail. After I added my detail with my pencil, I went in with my black fabric marker and I outlined all of my details. I don't always do this, but for this jacket, there was so many little details. I didn't want to lose them when I started filling it in with acrylic paint. So I outlined them first. After I outlined them, I then added my fabric medium to all of my colors. And then I started filling in the rest of my jacket. So here's a quick time lapse of me painting the back of this jacket. This whole jacket took me about four and a half hours, give or take a little bit of dry time. I did this while I was in quarantine, so I had plenty of time on my hands. I usually don't make jean jackets for myself because I usually have so many other ones that I need to make for other people, but we were in quarantine and I had lots of extra time and I thought that this would make a really funny jean jacket. And I had an old jacket laying around from the thrift store that I never painted, so I figured this would be the perfect thing to put on it. When I was done with the painting, I went back over with my black fabric marker and went over my outlines one last time, and then I used fabric glue and some sequins I found laying around, and I added them to his jacket. Here I am showing the reference photo I used and the jacket. I always use reference photos for my work because I think it helps you draw more accurately, and it's always good for your brain to be able to see what you're trying to make. Here is me showing my husband what I had been up to all day and his reaction. <laughs> wow. What do you think? This is good. You're crazy. This is really good. So this is the final look. This is how the jacket turned out. I think it ended up being actually pretty cute. So the last thing I did is add this little touch. Maybe it wasn't necessary, but I think it's pretty darn funny and you can only see it when the collar is popped. I hope you liked this video. If you'd like to see other videos like this one or any other creations, just like this video and subscribe to my channel.